hi welcome to this lecture in this lecture i'm going to talk about different ways to create objects and how to use the inputs so here you can see i have selected the poly modeling tab basically this is the by default self tab here and you can see i, I can create primitives from here so this is the poly primitives and we have a different options for surface so basically we have two different ways even you can go to create and you can find nodes primitives and polygon primitives basically we have two different types of object for modeling so one nodes one polygon and again we can also call the nodes as surface so again the first way is you can go to the self and click on the primitives to create it like this single click to create it or you can go to menu the create menu and again you can go to polygon primitives to find the primitives so primitives is basically the basic a very basic shape and you can use these shapes as a starting point for any model so again so this is the spear again one way is you can create it from self the other way is you can create it from menu basically same thing again you don't access to all the polygon primitives here so you can see we have some limited options and here we have some options and there's a triangle so if you right mouse click and you'll find some other primitives hidden there and if you don't find some primitives you can go to menu and find the primitives from here you can see all the list here so this is one way let me delete the models you can select it again i'm using the select tool just drag like this holding your left mouse like this to select and then hit the delete key on your keyboard to delete the model okay so now let's see how to create some primitives in a different way so let me go to the menu and polygon primitives now this time you can see there is an option called interactive creation so if you turn on that it's by default off if you turn on that option and now you can see that option is turned on and now let's click on the spear again now you can see it doesn't give you the spear immediately when you click and it says drag to create so now you can see we can create it by dragging the left mouse like this and we can create with any scale like this if i create a cube so this is the cube primitive and if i now you can see drag the base on the grid then pull up the height so again first drag would be the base and release the mouse and again drag uh, to the top to get the height you can see so again this is because we have not turned on that option this interactive creation option it's allowing us to create the primitives interactively so let me delete it but most of the time i find no i find the by default option is good so let's turn this off so that when you click it's going to give you a basic primitives with a basic scale which is the one one scale so these are some different ways to create primitives so now next let's see let's create some north primitive as well so now you can see i can create north primitives so these are basically two different model type so let me delete it let's go to the polygon modeling and let's create a spear and let's see how to modify this spear so let's select it and when you select it and you turn this channel box option you can see some options here now you can see this channel box has the translate rotate and scale value and translate rotate is set to zero and scale is set to one by default you can translate from here rotate from here scale from here so if i go to this poly sphere inputs if i click on this i'll get some options as as the inputs of this poly sphere and now i can change the radius if i click on it and let's say just put two and press enter now you can see i can change the scale of the uh, sphere i can put some more divisions these lines you can see i can put more lines let's say 40 you can see more lines so you can also change this numbers by just selecting the name let's say the radius just select the name 
and put the mouse cursor somewhere in this blank area and hold the middle mouse so hold down the middle mouse key and then drag the mouse to change that value you can also change the numbers by doing this so select it and hold the middle mouse and drag you can see i can interactively increase or decrease that particular number that particular options so if it's a numerical number then you can do this let's so again these inputs are dependent on the primitive type let me delete this and let's bring a cube and you can see the cube has a different inputs it doesn't have a radius instead it has width height and depth because it's a cube it, it's not a circle or or a spherical shape so again we can go to uh, again here the name and we can hold the middle mouse down and then drag to increase the length in that particular axis so width is basically the x axis height is the y axis and the depth is the z axis direction you can see like this we can do this and control g is undo basically so we can do this or we can put a number like just click and then put the number and press enter so uh, dragging this is useful when you don't know what is the exact value you need so you can go to the width and middle mouse drag and see interactively what is working basically so let me go back to one here so we have subdivision width height depth again we can increase it manually like this by dragging the middle mouse and you can see like this practice these inputs and again you are going to see different options for different primitives you just need to go and explore these things by yourself just select the name and drag the middle mouse to see what is that and now you can see the cylinder has the radius and a height so radius defines this you no know, this width of the circle and height defines this height this y y direction like this and again subdivision axis 20 that means these lines which defines this circle so we can increase or decrease this or if i go to subdivision height now it's set to one so we don't have anything in the height it's a single subdivisions if i increase it you can see we are getting more subdivisions in the height area height direction basically and the subdivision caps is this area you need to explore like this just select the name middle mouse drag and see what's changing and try to understand that so practice you no know, adjusting these inputs practice creating different polygon primitives and norse primitives again norse primitive has the same thing inputs you can adjust that and practice these things before you move into the next lecture so in the next lecture we are going to see how to save and open files in maya